the next method that we will talk about is Stephenson's method. Stephenson's method. This is another solution for accelerating the convergence of our equation. Stephenson's method is almost similar to Aitken's delta square method. In the process, it's also similar, almost equal with Aitken's delta square method. Okay? So, the Stephenson is almost similar. And the steps that we need, okay? First, we need to have a function that is given. We need to have our g of x. We need to have a range or the error. Let's say, let's say the, neg uh, the decimal places. And then, of course, a is starting point. So both of these methods follow the, the concept of fixed point iteration. Okay, so the first step that we need to do is we must pick a starting point. Okay, we pick a starting point. Say letter A. So we pick that starting point. The second step is we substitute A to the value of G of X. So that will become our second value. And we substitute B to the value to the uh, function G of X. So we will get three, uh, three points. So same with Aitken's delta method. And after that, the next step that we'll, we'll use, so it's denoted as p hat is equal to, so it is denoted as b minus a, ah no, not b, so this is a minus b minus a squared all over c minus 2b plus a. So it is similar with Aitken's delta e square method. And lastly, we just restart. Okay. We restart the e steps until such time that f, oh no, not f. Oh yes, that's f. At pag substitute natin yung uh, p hat doon sa ating original equation siya ngayon ay almost almost less than the error okay so if we are given an example of equation say x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 Therefore, we know that our g of x here, or let's say we solve for uh, the equation. So we have f of x, that is x squared minus x minus 1. So so on our previous discussion, we said that g of x is 1 plus 1 over x. And... It's given here that we should round this to the nearest six decimal places. And let's set our starting point to 2. So, using, uh, using Stephenson's method, we have A as 2. B is just G of A. Okay, so that is 1.2. 5 and c which is equal to g of b will give us 1.6666 and if we'll compute for the value of p hat that is just 2 minus 2.6666 
1.5 minus 2 squared all over 1.666 minus 2 times 1.5 plus 2. And we get p hat as 1.625. And then according to our uh, steps, we just restart the steps until f of p hat is equal to the error. So we set this as the new value of a. Okay, this is the new value of a. So we say that a now is 1.625. Now b will be g of a. And that is equal to, that's equal to 1.61538461.5. And C, which is equal to G of B. Okay. So, we get the answer, 1.619. 619 and we just repeat this until so after repeating the steps we can say that the root of the equation okay is approximately so we can say that x is approximately 1.61803398875 so that is how we accelerate convergence so using Stephenson's method or Aitken's delta e square method which is almost the same with each other so that is it for the Stephensen's method.